Cheers, brother. Cheers, mate. shaming to sickly because he hasn't uh edited the last video my dog got sick all these bullshit excuses he goes sorry bro sorry bro i've been going through a lot and I i'm been, like i've been going through quite a lot lately and i just like all right and he goes like my dog look look move a little over just move a little over my dog's right there you can barely see her there's but she's his right there. dog being fake sick she's sick i man. don't see a runny nose i don't see a fever she's got canine aids I don't see nothing like that, so I don't believe it. But anyways, guys, we're back. Um, I know it's been a long time. This is going to be a little bit different, but don't worry. We'll be getting back to our regular schedule programming soon enough. We'll get back to that when Sigley stops handling. Or Oh, sorry, bro. I'm juggling a lot of stuff. It's when I can afford my dog's fucking canine uh, AIDS treatment. Canine but, AIDS it, you're making that up, right? It's fake. No. Don't you remember, dude, when we used to walk uh, uh, to school when we were in middle school and there was a car, uh, a house, I mean, that would say, oh. beware dogs with AIDS? Oh, shit. I remember that. They were yeah, boxers. They were dogs. Yeah, they were boxers. Oh, my God. That is a real thing. So, I don't it might, I don't know. I think the guy intentionally infected the guy with AIDS. If the, I mean, he intentionally infected his dogs with AIDS. So if he did do that, That's he's a fucking so asshole. That's so weird. I remember that there was literally dogs on our street. Yeah, you said that right. And it said dogs with danger, dogs with AIDS. Dogs with AIDS. Wow. I didn't even think that was real, but yeah, the dude had a sign that said that That's shit. That's crazy. Anyways, today's video we're gonna do a reaction. We're gonna be looking at uh, a recent video that's actually come out. I thought it was pretty fucking hilarious, but it's uh, Joe Biden getting pranked into saying "Let's go, Brandon." <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. Have you seen that video yet? I feel like I did pull up on my timeline. Something like this. But anyways, let's see what you guys think. Uh, roll this bitch. <laughs> hey, well. I hope you have a wonderful. Yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas as well. Merry Christmas and let's go, Brandon. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas as well. Uh, Merry thanks. Christmas and let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. <laughs> hey, by the way, where are you in Oregon, dude? <laughs> he was so lost. And... <laughs> no, here's the thing, though. I'll say this. <laughs> like, this is kind of funny, right? But on one hand, this is just for me. This is just my opinion. Wait, wait, wait. Kind of funny? You thought it was kind of funny? Yeah, I thought this is kind of funny. But it's also kind of like, because uh, me at this point, I think that Biden's not always 100% there. So. That's true. Like this, like, okay, yeah, I get it. It's not hilarious for me, but it's hilarious for the next guy. And, you know, whatever you find funny, you should laugh at. But to me personally, it's kind of like, now that I'm very co convinced he's not 100% there, it's like. I don't feel the best when I'm making fun of someone that I would consider. What do you call that? Like, handicap mentally or whatever. <laughs> What's the name for it? I'm mentally disabled. Or mentally? No, nah, but I don't think he's disabled. Well, yeah, dude. If you're suffering from dementia, there you go. Or something like that, you're mentally disabled. There you go. Okay. So he shows signs for sure of dementia. So I'm like, ah, I mean, I, I at this point I just feel fucked up laughing at somebody who I very I'm, I believe is suffering from, you know, dementia. You get what I mean, though? I mean, I get it. I mean, I'm not saying I don't feel bad for the guy, but I still think it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, it's, like, it is kind of dude, funny. I think, it's, I, think it's, I think it's super funny because his wife just, like, kind of scoffs at it. She's like... Yeah, because she, she knew. <coughs> she knew, like, all oh, these... <coughs> she was like, this bastard, you know? And, uh... But let's get one thing clear, though. This is on the same level as... Remember when Trump was president? People got away with... so Well, they didn't get away with it, right? But they... 
threw so much hate at the guy. What's that one redheaded chick? Uh, who Kathy Griffin? Yeah, she fucking had yeah, that shit bro. on Twitter, surfing like forever with. Uh, and that shit while was... he was president, while he was president, a headless fucking what's it called? Like a like effigy, I guess. I guess you call it an effigy, a mask, whatever that was. And dude, that was very disrespectful, right? But if you ask people that oppose Trump, they were like, "Oh, this is virtuous. This is awesome." I don't like, think it was virtuous, but I, I don't think, think it, it was virtuous. But I think it's something that it was she corny. Also, to me, it was just corny. Wait, wait, corny. But she also shouldn't have gotten shit on if people tried shitting on her for it, right? Because I'm pretty sure there's people out there doing that shit with Biden. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, I mean, it, I think it should be like a no holds bar type of thing. That's the thing, though. You think it's a no holds bar? I don't. I don't really think like that. Maybe I'm stuck in the past, but You're I, a traditional I feel like man. Maybe I'm traditional in this when it comes to this because I'm like, dude, they're presidents. When I think about president, I think about like the remember they run for this position. They run for this position to be in they're office. elected, right? But they run for it, right? So it's not like we choose someone from the crowd and they have no say in it. These people run for it. <laughs> So I'm Imagine like, if it was like that. Man, yeah. Hey, Jay. You're president now. You're you... president today. Bro, I just got off of work. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. too bad. Sorry, tomorrow, bro. You're going to the White House. Yeah. So, they definitely deserve to be criticized, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, like, whereas other countries, they look at their leaders, like, respected, to be admired, and all that. I'm not saying let's kiss the president's ass at every turn. No, not at all. But how weird does it look? To other countries and other leaders when people think oh just because we have the first amendment right second whatever that you're gonna go and use that freedom to just bash any president that comes into office criticize people criticize positions and shit like that and and all that but sometimes i'm just like bro i'm not gonna i, I don't know maybe i'm, I'm approved sometimes maybe i'm approved sometimes i see your point man but I still feel like it's even even when it's like the the person in charge of running the country. I I still think it's something that you should still be able to poke fun at, no matter how risque or or macabre it might be. Of course, yeah. Because it's like that that that's the thing that that's what makes this place stand out above all the other places out there. The fact that you can make absolute fun of your of your 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 nation's leader. And not have to worry about somebody going like, open up, yeah. you know. True. I mean, and I don't want it to get to that point. I'm not no, saying like no. I'm not saying because I'm a little bit of a prude with this topic that we should. I don't have. think you're being prude. I don't think so. Maybe some might say I don't think so. Because it's, like, it's not like it's not like a prude, bro. Yeah, because you're not I, you're not yeah. you're not going over there going like, oh guys, let's just leave them alone, please. No. Nah. No. But I will say this though. At this point, when it comes to president status after Trump, I'm like. I liked a lot of the shit that Trump said and everything, <laughs> but do you think, I, I can't imagine going to, up to anybody, no matter what their job title is, and saying, hey man, maybe you should be more professional, because our last president, I wouldn't describe him as professional. The president, I'm talking about Trump. Yeah. He said a lot of, although it was hilarious for me, he said a lot of shit that See, it made me think, bro, you're the president. See, bro, but that's, that's where, you're that's the president. where. president. That's where it, it 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 makes me it makes me stop and think. Uh-huh. How are we so sure that our founding fathers didn't act that way when they first started? None of them had actual positions of holding office. It was just a it was just a system they fucking just started, and they said, "Hey, we're just gonna roll with it and see how it goes." I'm pretty sure when they went out and did speeches, they didn't come out all professional like. They probably went out like, "Voteth for meeth, and I will lower your taxeth." And fuck the British, and they were like, "Yeah, fuck them." <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, possibly. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think they were as professional as some people might think they were. Maybe wrong. Right. I may be wrong. Right. But think about it. It was a, st- a system that just started. They were barely knowing how to work because they fucking barely invented it. So they were going like, "Hey, fuck it. Hey, what do you guys think about this law? Ah, we don't give a fuck. Fucking pass it." All yeah. right, fuck it. We're passing it. No, yeah, but I, I still I still think I'm onto something because we've never had a president like Trump. We've never had somebody that just said, look, I'm going in, grabbing my nuts. Like, no president has ever grabbed their nuts. Well, Reagan used to grab his nuts before he had Alzheimer's. That's what they said about Reagan. Like, But then again, Reagan wasn't a politician. Reagan was an actor before he became president. 
So that's what they're saying. Like, pe- a lot of people say, I don't know. I- I- I'm like in the middle mm. where a lot of people say that the best, like, to get a good president, you got to make sure you don't get a career politician to become president. Because obviously, career politicians are only worried about one fucking thing, which is their pockets. Right. So I've heard. And I'm kind of like in the middle with that. Because I'm like, that is kind of true. Because when you're not a career, like you, you're not a career politician. If you go in there, you're going over there with with your best interests of what you think the country needs. Not, you're not going over there going like, oh, bro, um, I got to make sure I don't lose my, my, my former endorsements. And I want to make sure I, I get all kinds of new ones. Like, no. You're going in there like, bro, being, um, I'm just using an example, being a baker, bro, huh. they were fuck, they were fucking me, man, because they were buying all the Chinese bread, and they weren't buying any of my bread, and they were letting me sell my bread at Walmart. Excuse me. So you're going to go in there with the intention of changing shit for not just your baker, you being a baker, but for all the bakers in the country. You're going to be like, hey, I'm going in there trying to change it for all the bakers, so all the bakers out there could get some, you know? Right. So it's like, I, I, I mean... That's where I'm just like, maybe, maybe true. We probably do need another president that's not a career politician. What do you think? I think either you go in there a career politician, like uh, Sickly said, or you go in there already a very powerful man, like Trump. Because... That's very true. Ultimately, we still have a lot of experience and a lot to learn to really know how the game of politics works, right? Uh, oh shit that's very true but why I believe that those are the very very possible two main either ors is if you go in there just a humble man and somehow by humble means I mean and just some fucking how America votes you in and you're neither a very rich man and powerful or a career politician you don't have established connections it actually happened though here in America yeah Oh shit! So, no, no, maybe a, a dude, a dude ran for West. Uh, I think it was West Virginia. Hold on, though. But on modern America, modern America, this happened. This happened this year. Wait, I'm talking about presidents, bro. Oh, I'm oh. not talking about senators and shit like. No, oh, I was no, talking no. about that. No, man. I'm yeah, because about... I was about to say, bro, that fool came in with a hundred dollar video budget, and he actually beat the other dude. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. That's what I'm saying. Hey, if it happened with a senator, I think it's possible to president. I don't know if I believe that, man, because, again, for president, you have to convince the nation. The nation votes. Yeah. But that guy, it only mattered what the state said. And who really votes in that state? What, what state was it? Was I it think a, it was West Virginia. Bro. West Virginia. I think. Name of, which Who has a lower population, West Virginia or Maine? I don't fucking know. And, <laughs> and when it comes to landmass, I'm pretty sure West Virginia is tiny as fuck. Uh, probably. I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> No, I'm saying on a national scale, though, I think you're either a powerful man or a, 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 a what do you call it, a career politician because... Yeah, you're right. The I powerful wanna, man, like Trump, you were saying? I want to bring up Kanye, and I was like, wait, what about Kanye? But no, Kanye's fucking famous. He has a lot of money. Yeah. But um, what connections does he have in politics that were enough to be like, yeah, we'll get you in, bro? What relationships does he have with sectors like defense... Big oil, big pharma. Unless you're doing those guys favors, bro, these people have the the, the, the power to pull strings for you. You That's know? That's true. On the front end. That's true. They'll fund your campaign. On the back end, you got to, you know, look the other way when it comes to them dumping fucking radioactive shit in the, in the river. <laughs> Uh, nah, I, I see your point. I see your point. But we deviated from this yeah, bitch. Yeah, we definitely did. We definitely deviated. Point is... Fucking video is hilarious, but unfortunately, they already doxed this dude. The dude that did the prank call. Fucking sources already showed it. Uh, we're reading this shit from a. What was it? A- 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 Anthony Brian Logan. By the way, we're gonna make one of these for Anthony Brian Logan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're getting this off of Anthony Brian Logan's website. That's the only one we ever see. But yeah, basically, the dude's name is uh, Jared Schmeck. An Oregon dad named Jared Schmeck. And I guess I guess he's being threatened over the Let's Go Brandon prank call, which sucks because it's like, dude, you shouldn't have your life. You have, you shouldn't have to worry about your life being uh, threatened over a fucking prank call you did on the president. Like you shouldn't. Like although, like if people are super hardcore fans of 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 Joe Biden, and they like live and die for him, which is cool. Hey, you want to have that motherfucker tied on your hip? Go for it. 
But, dude, it's not worth you trying to dox people and fucking ruin their lives over. Like, come on, dude. Yeah, it's creepy. They shouldn't be doing that shit. Like, It's creepy, man. And hopefully, we should do some research, but hopefully shit like this becomes a crime. To, you know, to, like, dox people and shit. If it isn't already. I don't know. Because when I'm talking about, oh, you know, people just, you know, looking out for their safety and stuff like that because this guy might come kill him. No. They're literally trying to uncover his... Uh, personal and private information in order to get other people involved. Yeah. You know, people that might, you know, stand at your fucking front lawn, you know, <laughs> look for you at work. But fucking... You know, burn stuff that you own. Yeah. And it's not going to be like how it used to be back in the fucking days where, oh, bro, we're going to put some dog shit in a paper bag and burn it on the doorstep. No, they're going to be like, we're going to burn his whole fucking lawn. Yeah. You know, and it's like, that's where it's like, bro, you're going overboard. Like, me... I wouldn't even take it that far, bro. Like, if it came to politics, I wouldn't take it that far. If someone said, like, oh, I just prank called Trump, bro, which they probably did countless times. I wouldn't be to the point where I'm just like, oh, my God, now I'm going to go dox this dude and threaten his life. I wouldn't really give a shit because I'm under the understanding that, hey, bro, we're free to do whatever the fuck we want as long as it's not illegal Yeah. to a certain extent. But it just sucks. It sucks to do was trying to do something to get a good laugh. And maybe, who knows? He probably did it in the hopes of being viral. Which got him viral, but not with some insane repercussions, you know? Like, hopefully it doesn't go as bad for him, you know, as some people want it. Because I'm, I'm not surprised if some people are probably hitting up his job already after they doxed him. And they're going like, hey, fire this prick or whatever. How do you have this guy working there? He's a racist, blah, blah, blah. Even though what he said had nothing to do with racism. Yeah, it's stupid, bro. They're going to bring it up. Wait, they called him a racist? Yeah. That's bullshit, dude. How the hell is that racially... It, that's what I'm saying. Like, people and are quick. Like, how is that racial at all? People are quick to go ahead and call somebody a racist just because they don't they don't uh, agree with their opinions. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, bro, it's it's getting ridiculous already. We're like, we're getting, we're going to a point where every time somebody doesn't agree with what you say, you're either calling them a homophobe, a, a, a racist, or a bigot, and you're just like, what the fuck? Dude, that's, it's stupid. Yeah. That's so stupid. We got to get better, people. We really do. Yeah. But, unfortunately, it is what it is. We hope the best for this guy. And hope you guys enjoyed this bitch. Let us know what you guys think. If, hey, I'm pretty sure we're missing a lot on this story because this thing just came out. But let us fucking know what we missed. And if you want more content like this, let us fucking know, too. Right on. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.